the Chinese Air Force has released a photo of the J-16 flankers brimming with air-to-air missiles. The J-16 is a 4.5 generation two-seat fighter serving exclusively in the PLA Air Force. It is one of the largest fighters built by China. It is developed from the Shenyan J-11, which is in turn derived from the Russian Sukhoi Su-27. The J-16 is arguably the best Su-27 variant in the world. It combines the Soviet highly aerodynamic design with the latest Chinese air combat technology, such as an ASA fire control radar and long-range air combat missiles. The photo shows four J-16s flying with a varied payload of air-to-air missiles. Two of the fighters each carries four PL-15 beyond visual range missile, four PL-10 within visual range missiles, a single older PL-12 long range missile, and finally, and the most impressive of them all, a single massive PL-17 missile. The PL-17 is an extremely long range air combat missile. Its effective range is somewhere north of 400 kilometers, and likely more than 400. And this is enabled by a highly efficient multi-stage rocket motor, potent onboard sensors, and networking capabilities. The PL-17 first appeared seven years ago. It uses an active radar homing guidance system, and may be supplemented by an infrared seeker. An optical window containing an infrared seeker would make it far harder to defeat by jamming in the terminal phase of engagement. With such long ranges, most engagements can be expected to involve targeting data provided by friendly assets, such as airborne early warning systems, stealth aircraft closer to the target, or ground-based radar, and so on and so forth. The PL-17 is a big missile. In terms of size, it is comparable to some of the long-range naval air defense missiles carried by destroyers. The PL-17 is around 5.7 meters long and one-third of a meter in diameter. For comparison, the extended range air defense missile used by the American Arleigh Burke destroyers, the SM-6, is around 6.5 meters long and also one-third of a meter in diameter. The J-16 carries the PL-17 using its inner underwing hardpoint. It is likely that each J-16 can carry two of these weapons. This is as opposed to weapons carried by the centerline hardpoint under the fuselage, which can only be limited to one projectile. The J-16, as a big heavy fighter, is ideal for carrying the massive PL-17. Because of its massive size, the PL-17 can only be carried externally by fighters. As such, it cannot be stored in the internal weapon bay of fifth generation fighters. It is therefore unsuitable for use by stealth fighters. If a stealth fighter like the J-20 tries to carry the PL-17 externally, it would increase its own radar signature and thereby compromising stealth. In any case, it remains unknown if the J-20 can actually carry the PL-17 with its underwing hardpoint. It will likely never do so, anyway. The PL-17 provides the PLA Air Force with unprecedented reach. Its very long engagement range makes it particularly effective against force multipliers that tend to operate in the rear of enemy formations, such as refueling tanker aircraft and airborne early warning and control systems. It should also be capable against fighters and bombers, especially those without stealth design. That will be all. See you next time.